Hey guys, welcome back to the quest for the true ending in the Boogeyman. I'm the I'm Salty Saltington or Power by Salt. Don't know why I referred to myself in my VR chat name. Uh, anyway, so here we have so we have this. Let's just go under. That's got the rope. Now, I I didn't look too much about it, but it said go into a hole. Grant, I should grant your greedy wish. If you want to, then. And have two, then. As you can see with this, this is the combination to the, uh, the thing. To the thing in um, the Grandola room. Uh, right, so. I've got the rope. There's a hole I need to go explore. And that is not a sex joke, I promise. Right, so, do nothing. So, it's, uh, is it this one? I fucking knew it. Uh, hold on. Let's save. Uh, this is my true, uh, true mode save file. No, don't jump over the hole. Go down the hole. <gasps> this is how I get to that room. Got a videotape. Okay. Let's see what happens if I do this. Alright, so. It's not, I was, there was no reason for me to do that. Right, across we go. Jump across the hall. Now we're going to want to do this before we get back to uh, ya yeah boy. I don't know why I choose the fucking slashy slashy route every time I go. Lance. Choose the fuck which I have chosen death apparently. Let's do this. Hey, fucking did it. Here we go. We have a videotape. And apparently this one breaks uh during the sit during the uh when we're saving Shirley. So I don't know what the fuck these cassette tapes are made of. Fucking polystyrene cups or something. Oh. Oh no. Wait, hold on a minute. I've just realised something. Not that that breaks. So that one's so that's a VHS. This is just as a video. It's not the damn recorder that breaks. It's the actual. It's not the tape that breaks. It's the damn machine. I don't think I saw an axe through that one. Yeah, I don't think I saw an axe through it. Hold on. To be fair, when I originally came through here, I didn't see those rooms. Right, through here. <gasps> there's no... There's no axe in it. I will put the tape in there. Okay, right. Eyes. Guillotine. So that, that's how the door gets here. Yeah. 
Okay. Do I need to go back to the guillotine? Okay, so I don't do anything until after saving David and Shirley, so I will go do that. Uh, I can't even leave on this uh, the David Shirley thing, don't we? Because I, like, what indication was there that you could climb the damn wall, David? What I'm genuinely curious about is how to save David. How could you? What you could genuinely walked. hope there is a means of saving David, and he doesn't just fucking die. So I love how this thing will continue chucking eggs until the end of eternity. to kick the shit out of this thing. Calm down. Come to think of it, Keith, Helena's okay, isn't she? I haven't found her yet. What? But ah, uh, seem to what? We have to find her. Seen her. I'm glad. Like the tapes. I, I fucking wish I found the tapes in my actual playthrough of this, but this is so sad. Because I'd, I'd, I'd have loved to see this. Right? Oh, it breaks my fucking hammer! Oh, I got my fire axe. Let's see if I can raise the pressure when I'm in the room with David. Rest in peace, my mighty sledgehammer. I guess that's the only other purpose it's needed for. David, take the knife. David, use this. All right, go. Oh, wait, hold on. Yeah, you hear this way. So we've raised the pressure already. Look at that we can fucking pegging it. 
David, can you Oh, make yeah, Dafties. Come on, let's go. Break the fucking pipe with the fire axe. Right, so I kept thinking that noise was his phone. But I have a feeling it's just an alarm, like a water pressure alarm. Are you hurt? Oh. Okay, right, sweet. Okay, we've got David now. And now we can no longer go into rooms with corpses. Okay, so let's save. Yeah, yeah, I know where to go. Alright. To the chapel. Speed running this shit. Here, don't tell me. No. I'm still curious what was on the right. Okay, right. So, get along to here. Okay, right, so, apparently, you can actually do this bit without making David run away. And it's actually the act of checking the corpse. So first things first, let's dance the piano, play the music box. Oh, wait, wait. Also, I love this tune. Doo -doo -doo. Stupid. No, I don't use the fire. I fucking hate this doll, man. <laughs> Fuck off, you daft. Okay, right. Ignore the corpse. Ooh, hold on, there's something else I haven't done. <sighs> okay, so this is the Pancello one. 
Which I actually start recording. <laughs> Imagine this I was going for like this fifteen minutes and I just hadn't started recording. Hadn't grabbed the child's diary. How do I get the diary again? Yeah, okay. Diary is necessary. So this time we're going in with David. David, let me your lighter. Stay here. Stand by the painting and keep a lookout. Call for me if you see anything strange. G got it. Okay, so we've got this bit already. This is the last bit of the uh, punch in a low play. Hey, detective. What the fuck Up does he to your mean? silly proof. You're always carrying a little box with you. A precious little black box. A treasure trove <laughs> of all you hold dear. Don't you notice the smell from that box? It's, you know what it is, don't you? Do you think you're better than me? Do you want to kill me or befriend me? I'm so sorry. Who do I pray to? Okay, so I've seen that already, so there's no difference. So have I missed anything? Um... Okay. I mean, it's kind of a good thing that I didn't have to align the so. Is it? <coughs> Yo. I don't know. No, still. Ammunition. All the others were caught unaware and stabbed. Is this just for- I... I'm not too sure either. But yeah, it's odd that he'd use a gun. I wonder why that is. <sighs> Damn it. I should be able to- I... Why is that? I guess because I'm not enough of- Okay, right. Next up, giant chessboard. Now, alright, one other thing I want to go. Well, actually, no, it's down here. Uh, this fucking thing. So, I misread this. Unless they are on the battleground, the fuller's shoulders shall not move an inch. And lined up at their camps, gladly stay put. Okay. Now, that chessboard is actually a red herring. Now, I I thought you were actually meant to do it, but the battle hasn't actually begun. Hence, these will need to move back to their original positions. They return to their camps, as the battle has not yet begun.
I found the whole puzzle was you're meant to put the king in checkmate and I was like, nah fam, I don't wanna do I don't wanna play chess man. There you go, see? Opens the damn gate. Boom. <laughs> We're an hour in. Right, uh next up. The damn note. This bird. This one, not against this one. There you go. Second bit. Richard? Oh dear, wait, hold up. Richard! Keith, did do you. She's. I just caught it. You! Did you take my daughter? Where's Sophie? Ah, just. Whoa. Don't look. Yo. Alright, uh. This is where I'm looking for Sophie. Oh shit! Oh my god. Okay, so... Holy shit, I am... So glad I checked something. These are monkeyest fucking vents. Uh, alright. So, the dog scene with Sophie. Surely. You think you can get in the vent above Hold the bathtub? Way too tight. She's small and. You couldn't. So she must have climbed up. Please. Not you. He's the wolf. So, there was a scene, so in the dog scene, Sophie can actually die in that. If she hits zero, it's a game over, but if she hits on 30% health, it's not, and she'll actually die. Shit, I was very close. If I had one more hit, I would have gone into the 30% margin. I was very close to getting an even worse ending. And because I'm a masochist, I'm gonna keep a slot in for that ending. So we're gonna have to wait on getting the bad ending, uh, and getting the good ending, because we're gonna try and see what happens when you get that ending. Oh boy! That's going to make me mega depressed. It's going to give me super depression. Okay, so we need the key. And the next time we can make a decision like that, 
That's the next time we make the decision. Let's oh, searching with David again. Oh, my Wait. Wait. Oh, I should have pressed bear back. Okay, I'm back. Right. We're gonna we're gonna continue with this. Okay, so uh, right, yeah, here we go. It's down here. Okay, so we need to go into here. Diary. Okay, so that's just the translation. Uh, still paper. So this is the one we need to translate. This, I think you only need to translate the one, just the one that tells you. Key that yells Getty fuck. Oh, I'm, I don't want to go for the bad ending. I really don't. So I still don't know what this does. Oh, that, that, that ladder's bringing back bad memories, man. I'm near certain that that cross thing there has something to do with something. So, step back. So we're gonna speed run through this area. I was genuinely surprised when we were playing as Sophie. Uh, oh. Alright, so. Right on the boot. Oh. Okay, I got the compartment, I got the shelves key. Okay, alright, so this is gonna be the bad end save. Good, bad. I'm gonna make a backup up here just in case. Okay, so this is the bad end save. Don't you fuck it up. Three heads. Oh no, I wasn't that close. Okay. Sorry, Sophie. <sighs> I feel really bad for this, <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. My fucking god. Oh my fucking god. Sophie! Sophie. 
Sophie, please. Sophie, get up. Sophie. Sophie. This can't be real, right? Let's go see Richard. We can't. my daughter. Tell me where you're going. I'll kill him. He, he killed my daughter. Wait. Just let me go. Keith, you're a detective. You've seen parents whose children were killed, haven't you? And haven't they said the same? That they want to kill the one who killed their children? Revenge is my duty as her father! David. Bring me a curtain and a towel. Oh. I'm sorry. Forgive me, Richard. Lance, checking on him from time to time. Why'd you tie him up? I checked, and there's no razors or scissors, but there are mirrors and windows. Make sure they don't get broken. And don't take out the gag. He might chew off his tongue. Isn't there any other way? Tell me if you've got a better idea. Piece of shit. Where are you going? Just going to stay by the guy's side. You're not going to allow that, either? David, you stay here. I don't want you jabbing me in the back, too. I wouldn't do that. I know you didn't want to do it this way. I feel so bad for Richard. But there's not much else we can do. What can you even do? I'm coming, too. We have to find Helena, and quick. Do as you like. David. Why don't you do what I tell you? Haven't I, I told you not to play in here? Sorry, Dad. Wait, the dialogue changes. You said a pan at first. So... Shit. Oh, it doesn't just throw straight to a bad end. Oh, all right. So we're not doing the happy ending at the moment. This is not the happy ending. So we're just gonna run through. So we found Sophie. Next up. So we have to do the end game. So guys, I will see you when we get to where da the thing with David. Oh man, I can't believe I'm gonna have to go through this shit again. <sighs> hey guys, I'm back, and um, yeah, David's gone. Now we're heading back to the room. To the survivor's room. Keith, where is he? Where is he? He's dead. Why? He protect.
I'm sorry. It's not your fault. I tried to tell him. Surely don't hold. What it. If you don't cry. Like me. Okay, so that didn't help. Okay. Right. Items. Okay. Now we need to head back. from David. So I've now I've seen that like munching painting the uh, the painting where the guy's eating is eating the child. I know I've seen that before somewhere. It's uh So it's a religious figure eating their own son. I can't remember what it was. Also, I'm near certain that, um, that water puzzle has something to do with that, the true ending. Okay, now we go into an even darker ending. Here we go. There's also, there's one more bad ending after this. And then we can finally be happy and get the true ending. <laughs> Put myself through this for you guys. <laughs> Hopefully this one should be a little lighter than the one I'm about to experience. Because this one is where Sophie dies but David lives. Stop mm. it. Yes, that's right, you heard me right. You can save David. I am actually happy. You can save David. So this is the true ending where everyone lives. But Stop it! This isn't. Here we go. Save. Boom. The true ending file has been created. Uh, the, uh, the bad ending one file has been created. Here we go. This room is laid out slightly different. Wait, what? Huh? What the fuck just happened? Okay, so there's knee buggy. And I just realised this room looks different. It's because Boogie isn't here, so there's no boss battle. There's no, there's no fight. That lift that attracts the stairs. Okay. 
Get to fuck. <gasps> oh dear. Now I've done it. I thought I'd get the drop on you. But you're always going off somewhere or another, so I couldn't keep up. What an awful curtain closer. But hey, that's how it goes. I've done a lot of harm murdering, and you've done a lot of harm protecting. Life doesn't always go the way you want it, Ooh. don't you know? Detective, can I ask a question? Who took away the stairs? <gasps> Fuck! Wait, Lance. Lance, Where'd Lance, Lance. To? Why the fuck did Those you leave okay? the, the two people who have just lost people on their own? Oh no. Oh no, Lance. Yeah, that's right. I've heard the situation. I'm talking with him now. Hey, hold on. We... Can you just give me some more time? What? Tell him to go do it himself. Don't be stupid. Sure, he's a detective, but he's a victim here. If you want to hear it straight from him, you tell him that yourself. Why did it have to be her? I can't just say these things happen, can I? It's always on my mind, you know. Guys like us live all bold, but good people keep dying right in front of us. And there's nothing we can do about it. To hell with this. With all of this. Don't hold it in, Keith. You can cry now. I didn't cry when my son died. Keith. Show yourself. Hey, Boogie. Boy, that was awful. But hey, guess it worked out okay in the end. Now I'm able to meet you again. You've got a gloomy look there, Detective. Was killing me not enough? Worried about your wife, maybe? Don't worry. She's doing just fine on the other side. With your son. Give it back. Give what back? My wife. My son. Give back my family!
It wasn't me. It was you! Detective, so you can't even cry normal tears, huh? Give them back? But didn't you just throw it all away? You always focused on your enemy, the one you knew was lurking somewhere. Didn't you notice the ones clinging to your feet? I'm sure you did, but you pretended you didn't for the sake of your petty, miserable pride. You just pushed them away. I just picked them up. This was how we would always go down, sooner or later. All along, you never even knew. I guess I'll tell you. I am the bookie. Wait, wait, wait. The bookie in your head. That face. That, 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 that face, hold on. I didn't even get a good look at it. Was that him? Oh shit. Uh... Ay ay ay. Okay, somehow the last one was actually worse, probably because it surprised the fuck out of me. Here we go again. Actually. Oh fuck. Right. I gotta go save David. Save David. So I've got to do it. So I'll be back in a minute when I save David. But by by that I didn't mean I was gonna. But I'll, let's get to the bad end. Uh, let's. I'll save figuring out. Actually, no. I'll do a. I'll do a reaction of how you save David. Okay. Alright. Hey guys, I'm back, and let's go save David. Our next. So, hey, you gotta go here. Left. So. <coughs> so, excuse me. I love the sass he gives him. It's great. Toss excuse me your lighter. You. I'll just take, I had to take a minute because it's a. Like, I'll look ahead. Don't move from. Get back into a bit of a bright mood before I smash it back down with another bad ending. Let me get the key first. This way, okay. And in here, interact with the paper. Now I actually had the right idea. Dick. You hide. Oh, hold on, I'll turn off the light. Ah! Don't move. You're under arrest. 
<laughs> Your wifey's got a good butt on her. Really makes me want to chase after her. Ay, ay, ay. Where is she? Where? Ah, oh, detective. <sighs> How careless. <gasps> Trying to take me on in such close quarters. I hate to say such a rude thing to a detective, but not really. Dummy. He fucking tased me. Keith, my Helena? poor darling. Wait. Why is it saying dot dot dot? Pass more, pass more, pass more. You watched me as I wallowed in the depths of despair. And there you stood with your back against the edge. Now it's time that you finally learn. You need pride. You need peace. So go ahead, take it all. But don't you see? In the end, there will be nothing left of you. Is that not Helena? <sighs> Who are you? What's going on? Hello, Miss Baring. Who? Call me Boogie, ma'am. I'm about to begin a game befitting such a joyful night. I'd appreciate your participation as well. Run for me, miss. I'm sorry. I... Where's my husband? Where am I? Why is that man tied up? Ah, he's an assistant. He can quickly Wait. explain to you how this will all work. If I should catch you, this happens. Fine. I knew it. Understand the rules now? Where's my husband? Somewhere you wouldn't know about. Where's my husband? Still sat in the fucking bedroom. He can't save you. He's in my grasp. Oh, no, no, no. It's up to me if he lives or dies. Now run, Miss Bayring. The game begins, and I am it. So, I was on the inside of the cell. Okay. 
Okay, right. So we've done it. Now I need to double check something. No, we haven't saved David yet. It was a method. <laughs> wow, really? Okay, alright. Wow. Okay, so the David thing is a lot more complicated than I expected. So saving David is actually a lot more complicated than expected, but you don't actually have to do anything in the, um, like actually before he goes into the room. Thanks for the keys. That big head knocked me out cold. What? No wonder you took so long. Are you okay? I could have died easily, but more importantly, no. There was another corpse. I think, yeah. What, what about so Then I found out it's the mansion of, can't open this kind of place. I should have done this, because I didn't need to do this for the Sunday. This will never but, hey ho. We'll, uh, if you were really suspicious, then why did you come? With a month off. So, it was for Helena. You never seem to pay her much mind. Let's go. Uh, off we go. Back to the garden we go. Now we do the David part. Now we have to let David live. Now well, there's a couple things I'm meant to do in the David section. To actually let him live. Okay. I will be doing the final ending, the true ending, tomorrow. To the right, move to the right, move to the right. I'm not getting hit by that a third time. Toing. Go. Okay, so there are a lot of ways David can die in this. Uh, so we're saving here. Item. Smoky. Skip. Okay, so. Okay, so we're gonna uh, open the curtains, tear down the curtain, <coughs> I'm gonna wear it. Okay, break the window. Right, next up, puddles. Climb down. 
should be a puddle. You don't want to go in the puddle. Climb over the drum. Don't stand at any of the puddles, they will kill you. Okay, so the bogeyman doesn't even actually kill David. David actually dies from his injuries in incurred in the area. He cuts himself in the glass, hence why you need the towel. And I think the puddles, the barrels may contain acid, so the acid probably kills him. Well, that's a hint of where it actually is. Good to know. Didn't even know there was a hint to where it actually was. Interesting if the death, um, death from picking up that key would actually result in a bad end. You had to play as David for the rest of the game. If you do it this way, and the key dies. Oh yeah, I'm gonna get the key first. Uh, towel. Which was the key? Get surface wounds with your wearing the towel. Oh, thank fuck. There we go. Oh! Yes! Yes, 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 yes! <laughs> nope, I'm on cold now. The classic. Hey, you wait. Boom. Headbutt. Yeah. Ow, my fucking neck. I guess. But I, I think I got a bump on my head just now. Good. Good. You go back to the room. If this happens again, I can't afford to save you. Sorry. It's my own stupidity to blame. That's not the problem. If anything happens to you, I'm the one left with a crying Shirley. Isn't there anyone who'd cry for you? Maybe not anymore. Huh? Still want to tag along? Yeah. Oh, shit. <sighs> Do what you like. <gasps> we have him along for the ride. Okay. So David is actually with us. What happens if we... What's going on? Keith. He's wobbling every few seconds. Okay. Yeah, something's going on with Keith. What's going on with his eyes? Am I dying? Am I poisoned? Keith, let's rest a little. If you don't take a break, you're going to... Shut up. This isn't the time. 
I'm tired, okay? Let me rest. Or are you gonna drag around an exhausted citizen, detective? Lend me your lighter. You've got one smoke to rest. The heck is that guy anyway? How does he know about my mom? And Shirley's past. It's really disturbing. David, did you celebrate your birthday with Shirley last month? Or was it with Paul and Marion? Oh, I scheduled a meal with Shirley, then celebrated with Paul and Marion the other day. Huh. Did I ever tell you my friend's names? Sorry about your mother. Benjamin's like a landmine. One misstep means trouble. But I guess they don't teach you how to dodge landmines in flight school, huh? What? What the f- How does oh, he know so? you want to toughen your stomach for anchovies and liver. I mean, unless you want younger girls thinking that's cute or whatever. Hold on a second. What do you know about my mom too? And my friends in school? I never told you any of that, right? Keep this between us. But working as a detective for 15 years, you get to know stuff. Like what someone's done in the past, just by looking at their faces. Maybe that big-headed freak is the same way. Y you're kidding, right? You think I'm kidding? You're a real sucker. Take care you don't get swindled someday. What's this about? What do you know all about me? You were taken to the police after the incident with your mother. Remember the detective who questioned you? I was pretty dazed at the time, so I don't really remember. But it wasn't you, was it? Eric Simpson, my subordinate. It was only an attempted crime, so he was the only one to handle you. And you know, he's got a real messy desk. He lets case files and they'll like pile up so high, they even topple over onto my desk. I saw some files on you among them. Your history, your family, that kind of info. <coughs> and your mother's diagnosis. Oh, and the ones who verified your identity were your friends Paul and Mary and Martin. I remember them well, especially because that Paul guy made a huge ruckus at the station. He was the one that ate too many chili dogs too, right? Then the anchovies. Oh yeah, I mentioned that at dinner. But I didn't tell you I hated liver, did I? I hate anchovies myself, and I hate liver. That's all. Why did you make a guess for that one? Because you're stupid enough that I thought it'd fool you. <laughs> oh, that's a name. If you know so much about me, why didn't you say so when we first met? Because I was suspicious of you. Huh? Me? Why? A year and a half ago, you found a hanged body in an abandoned house in another state. State police came to us trying to determine the guy's identity. That's when I read your testimony. And it was real sketchy. Sketchy? Why? I understand you were looking for the guy who formerly lived in your apartment, but how did you track him down without even knowing his name or what he looked like? Said you followed notes, but when you were asked to show him, you said you lost them. You said you shot a man in the house, but there was no gunpowder on the gun, no dropped cartridges, most importantly, nobody to shoot. And then you just happened to find that former tenant's corpse. You gotta know that's suspicious. But, but it's true. I was led there by the notes he wrote. Once I found the body and called the police, I realized they were gone. And I did shoot someone, but I'm not sure if it was a person. As you testified, but I guess that doesn't matter so much now. I was wary of you because of what you could have done. I didn't want to leave Helena with a madman. If you did anything even a little weird, I was going to turn around and take my wife home. Do you still distrust me? When we first met on the boat, I intentionally told you that I was a detective. Somebody with something to hide would be alarmed. But then you just said cool, so I was a bit less wary. You might be crazy for all I know, but you haven't shown any sign of being dangerous. Listen, everyone's got bad stuff in their past. For somebody who shouldn't know it to dig it up and use it against you, that agitate and anger most people. He knows that well. He's showing off what he knows to upset all of you and control your actions. He's done it to you, to Richard, to Lance. Lance too? He's an ex-journalist, 
took photos of that job too. Mm. When he published articles, he signed his photos with LK. He investigated the state police during a sexual assault and murder case three years back, but went too far. The victim's family and civil liberties group attacked him for invasion of privacy, and he was driven out of journalism. How do you know about all that, Keith? Doesn't matter. Well, I understand that those are the guy's methods, but how does he know all of our pasts in the first place? The boogeyman lives in your closet, right? So, he's always watching. Watching when you nearly killed your mother. Watching when you were snuggling with your wife in bed. D don't make threats like that. He's only human. The appearance, the weapon, the info. It's all just to scare us. You're taking it pretty well, though. It's all cheap tactics. It's not going to scare me. Yep, that's our detective. Nothing scares him. Even though his wife might be in danger. Still calm. <laughs> If I let myself be shaken, you'd all follow suit. I can't protect anyone if I get distracted. A detective doesn't just go fishing for corpses. I've got my lousy pride and my duty. I can't just watch while someone kills people with a grin on their face. That's true. Even if you're forsaking someone important to you? What are you trying to say? There's a big gap between your ideal and what you really want. It's contradictory. Yeah, it's... Isn't that painful for you? Hmm. <clears throat> I wanted to be a pilot, but thinking about it now, I think I was just too stubborn to see anything else. So? You'll understand someday. Thinking of taking a nap here? Keith, those things you said before, were you trying to make me angry? I don't intend on telling anyone your history, nor your family problems. Sorry if you're still pissed. No, it's fine. I guess I am kind of a brat. You must have been out of felt pretty good letting... Uh, from airing out the proverbial dirty laundry. Keith. Hey. Shit, where, where are we going? Dial lock on the door. Okay, right. And just looking at something. Thank you. Okay, job done. There's a dial lock on the door. Okay, right. Um Give me a minute, I'm just gonna look something up. Not gonna look up the sources of these puzzles, I'm gonna look up any other endings. Yeah, for fuck's sake. So calm there. 
Oh my lordy. Okay, so... There is a fourth ending. There's a fourth bad ending. And I will not be able to get it. So I will probably get it up on YouTube. I'd draw like some I had to I'll leave that one to you guys to watch. But I can't get that one. It's really annoying because I've already got I'd have to restart the game entirely. Because I don't think any of these are ones where I've gone and got the happy got uh Unless maybe that one is. Maybe this one here. Or maybe this one. It has to be before I went into the painting room. So it probably would be here. So I need to beat the game at this point before I went back. Okay. No, I might be able to do it. Okay. Either way, this ends this part of the race for the final race for the endings. Um yeah, there's more shit to do. Awesome. Anyway, that is the end of this episode, and next will be the final episode of the Boogeyman. And I cannot wait because this this game has been fantastic, honestly. But I'll give my full thoughts of the game at the end of the last episode. Anyway, thank you all for watching, and enjoy the rest of your night. Even though for me there's not really much time left, because it is currently twelve o'clock at night. But it's nearly one. Anyway, enjoy the rest of your day.